Hello and welcome to Davis Tech Tips. Today we'll be showing you how to back up your WeatherLink data. Now when you use the WeatherLink software, you'll be creating a station and you'll need to give it a name and that is where you'll be downloading your uh, data into so that you can plot and graph and run reports on that data. Uh, you give that uh, a station or database a name. In this case, I've called it Brett's Data. And when you do that, you wind up creating a folder in your WeatherLink installation directory named after that database. So here I have on my uh, root at the C drive, I have my WeatherLink installation directory. And in it, amongst a number of files and folders, I have a folder named after my station name or my database. It's only going to be the first eight characters of the station name. So my station was Brett's data and this is Brett's DA. Inside of it are a number of files and folders. Uh, these here with the WLK extension are the monthly database files and the file name is the year and then month. So for example, this is February 2014. Now you can copy and, and pull out those database uh, individual files and share them. Um, but when you're backing up your data or moving your entire database somewhere else, it's much easier to grab the entire station folder uh, and copy it to your backup uh, folder on your hard drive, maybe copy it to a thumb drive so you can carry it to another machine. Um, in this case here, I'm going to drag and drop it on my thumb drive. We go. So now you can see it's on the thumb drive. Now I can take that to any machine or I can store it and use it as a backup if this machine crashes. Um, so let's let's assume that's happened. Let's go ahead and delete my data in the Weatherlink folder. So now when I run Weatherlink, it uh, doesn't think I have a station and wants to know if I want to create one. If I go to File, Open Station, no stations are listed here. But if I take the entire station folder off of my thumb drive and put it back in my Weatherlink installation folder, there it is, it's back, it's there. And now if I go to Weatherlink and say File, Open, it will see that uh, folder and the data in it, and I can select it, and I have all my data back. And that is how you back up and restore your WeatherLink database.